Market manipulation. Two words that carry a lot of weight, especially in the finance world. It's the dark side of the financial markets, where big banks and institutions pull the strings to their advantage, often leaving everyday investors like you and me to deal with the consequences. But what exactly is market manipulation, and how do these big players control our finances? Let's break down what market manipulation really means. At its core, market manipulation involves artificially inflating or deflating the price of an asset, creating a false or misleading appearance of the market's supply, demand, or price. This is usually done to profit from the resulting price movement. It sounds shady, right? Well, that's because it is. But it's not always easy to spot, especially when it's being carried out by seasoned professionals with vast resources at their disposal. Let's talk about some of the most common tactics used by big banks to manipulate the markets. One of the classic methods is called pump and dump. This involves artificially inflating the price of a stock or other securities through false or misleading statements, only to sell off their positions once the price has been pumped up, leaving other investors to suffer the losses when the price inevitably crashes. It's like a financial game of musical chairs, and you don't want to be the one left standing when the music stops. Another sneaky tactic is spoofing. This involves placing large orders to buy or sell a security with no intention of actually executing them. The goal here is to create a false impression of supply or demand, which can move the market price in a desired direction. Once other investors react to the fake orders and the price moves, the spoofer cancels their orders and takes advantage of the new market conditions. It's a bit like fishing, throwing out bait to lure in the unsuspecting. Then there's front running. This is where a bank or trading firm gets advanced knowledge of upcoming orders from their clients and uses that information to trade on their own account before executing the client's orders. This guarantees a profit at the expense of their clients. Imagine you're at an auction and the auctioneer knows you're willing to bid high on an item. They might secretly buy the item themselves before the auction starts, only to sell it to you at a higher price. It's unfair, but it happens more often than you'd think. These tactics are just the tip of the iceberg. Big banks also use their substantial resources to influence market trends through wash trading, where they trade with themselves to create the illusion of high activity, or by manipulating benchmark rates like LIBOR, which affects interest rates on everything from mortgages to credit cards. So why do big banks engage in market manipulation? The simple answer is profit. By controlling the markets, they can ensure steady gains and mitigate losses, often at the expense of smaller investors. But it's not just about making money, it's also about maintaining power and influence. In a world where information is power, having insider knowledge or the ability to move markets is a significant advantage. Now, you might be wondering, isn't this illegal? Yes, many forms of market manipulation are illegal. Regulatory bodies like the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission CFTC, in the US are tasked with catching and penalizing offenders. But enforcement is challenging. The sheer scale and complexity of the financial market make it difficult to detect and prove manipulative practices. Big banks have teams of lawyers and analysts who know how to navigate the legal grey areas and stay one step ahead of regulators. A prime example of this is the 2008 financial crisis. Big banks were heavily involved in selling complex financial products tied to subprime mortgages. When the housing market collapsed, these products became worthless, leading to massive losses for investors and triggering a global economic downturn. Investigations revealed widespread fraud and manipulation, yet only a few individuals faced significant consequences. The banks, on the other hand, received bailouts and continued new business as usual. So, what does this all mean for you? As a young investor, it's crucial to be aware of these practices and understand how they can impact your investments. Here are a few tips to help you navigate the treacherous waters of the financial markets. 1. Follow credible sources and learn about market trends and signals. The more you know, the better equipped you'll be to spot a potential manipulation. 2. Diversify your investments. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Diversifying your portfolio can help mitigate the risks associated with market manipulation. Spread your investments across different classes, industries, and geographic regions. 3. Be skeptical. If something it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Be wary of hot tips, especially those that promise quick and guaranteed returns. Do your own research and make informed decisions. 4. Use limit orders. When trading stocks, consider using limit orders instead of market orders. This allows you to set the price at which you're willing to buy or sell, helping to protect you from sudden price swings caused by manipulative practices. 5. Understand the risks. Investing always carries risks, and no strategy can eliminate them entirely. Be aware of the potential for market manipulation and factor it into your investment decisions. Market manipulation by big banks is a complex and often opaque issue. The financial markets are like a game and understanding the rules and how they can be bent will give you a significant advantage. While it's easy to feel powerless in face of such massive institutions, knowledge is your greatest weapon. By learning about these manipulative practices and staying informed, you can make smarter investment choices and safeguard your financial future. Thanks for watching and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insights in the world of finance.